right, this video is for banded lumbar spine flexion and extension. All you'll need for equipment is a nice thin white band and some open floor space. Uh, after the assessment is done, we'll designate what segments of the lumbar spine, which we have five of, are limited in flexion and extension. If it's just one spot, then we'll focus the exercise on that one area. If it's globally where the entire lumbar spine is limited, then we can either start at the bottom at our fifth lumbar vertebrae, perform sets and reps there, and then inch it up a little bit to the next lumbar vertebrae, perform sets and reps there, and then keep working out towards the top or vice versa. You can start at the top of the lumbar spine, sets there, and work your way incrementally down. For the setup here, we're gonna be on hands and knees with the band around our waist. And just for reference, the top of the pelvis here, my iliac crest, if I go straight back from there, this is gonna be right around L4, L5. So if you're uh, starting at the bottom, it's real easy, you just go a little bit below the top line of your pelvis. So let's say I had a restriction at L4, L5, so I'll just keep the band right at the top of my pelvis here. And then the amount of tension on the band, uh, it's important that it's really light when we start. As you progress with the exercise, you can add more and more tension on the band, but we always wanna start with lighter and perform higher sets and reps if possible. And then uh, in our start position on hands and knees, if it's not tolerated to have a lot of weight on your hands here, you could go onto your knuckles, for example. You can also sit the weight back into your hips and feet here. Uh, whatever's most comfortable to allow you to feel the movement and not be worried about something else that's bugging you. Uh, once we get into the setup position that's best for you and have a nice amount of tension on the band, we can initiate our movement. I'm gonna start into extension here and I'm gonna focus on where I feel the band for the entire set here. So I'm gonna very slowly transition into extension as I go, focusing on initiating my movements where I feel the band once I get down to the bottom here, I'm gonna pause, try to get a little bit more out of that motion for a few more seconds here before I transition to flexion. And very slowly flex my lumbar, lumbar spine, pushing into the band, trying to get as much as I can there. And once I get to the top position here, another thing we can do is focus on getting more with each exhale of the breath. Want a nice inhale through the nose. And then on the exhale, we're going to focus on trying to push more into the band. And then I can transition again into extension. And then another thing we can do to increase the muscle tension here is add in some tension at our arms and our hips. So as I go into extension here, I'm gonna to attempt to squeeze the floor together, bringing my hands towards my knees and my knees towards my hands. Hold, and then as I transition to flexion, I'm gonna to try to spread the floor. So imagine trying to push your knees away from your hands and your hands away from your knees. And then again, for the, if the entire lumbar spine is restricted, you can start at the bottom here, perform sets and reps there, and then move the band up a little bit, do more sets and reps there, work your way incrementally up to the top of your lumbar spine or vice versa, start at the top and work our way down. Sets and reps will be in the description section for this exercise.